Hello there, I'm Shannon Becker, KOAM News Now, Joplin News First, live uh, on the scene uh, where a Jasper County Sheriff's murder suspect has been taken into custody, uh, no injuries. We're in private property in Newton County along State Line Road, Kentucky Road. Uh, uh, what you can see behind us is property here, something not familiar to you, it's a private drive. Uh, we talked to uh, people who own the property and they said they were quite surprised so many people were coming down the road. We'll get a closer look here. Uh, multiple agencies this afternoon and a search for Scott Burleson wanted for a March 2nd homicide. Uh, we were there near Galena on State Line Road. A man was stabbed to death. A Carl Junction man, Seth Langford, lost his life. This has kind of been an ongoing saga to get Burleson into custody. Uh, U.S. Marshals I believe near here uh, took him into custody probably uh, maybe about 30 minutes ago. I try and name off all the agencies that are here, but take a long time. Uh, we're just north of Seneca is where we are. Uh, the day started out today. We talked to McDonald County Sheriff Rob Evenson Earlier, he said there was a truck that was stolen in Southwest City this morning. And that's the truck that speeds up to 100 mile an hour through Newton and McDonald County, running from police, trying to be avoided, taken into custody. I'm Shannon Decker, KOM News Now, if you could share this broadcast. <laughs> So here's that pickup truck there. Uh, after the pickup kind of ran its legs off is where it ended. And he ran on foot into the wooded area here. We were in McDonald County at the press conference. There are cold case murder suspect was announced 1990 case I'm not sure how long this pursuit lasted but this is that pickup truck that was stolen in Southwest City this morning they say McDonald County will take possession of it and Jasper County will take possession of Burleson from the U.S. Marshals. I'm Shannon Becker, KOM News Now. If you tap your screen, click that bit link, and learn a little bit more about what was going on here this afternoon. But at least four different days I know of police resources here in the Northeast Oklahoma, Southwest Missouri area have been tracking him. He was in McDonald County one day, uh, Southern, it was like Southwest Newton County one day near Hart. Uh, the other night in the middle of the night, uh, he had fled from a vehicle near Angus and State Line Road. If you tap your screen right now, more details there. Got that link on Scott Burleson and who he was and charges that he'll face. Once again, this is private property. It's actually a dead end road. If you take Kentucky from 43 Highway, go all the way west of the state line. It's actually a dead end when you pass Bethel. It says it's a dead end. All this is private property.
take you back in time a little bit. You remember a couple of weeks ago, uh, there was a SWAT operation on Malang Road and they took into custody. There were two men uh, that were a part of this uh, murder. Uh, one man was taken into custody just moments after SWAT had dismissed. They picked him up at a residence on West 7th Street. Uh, however, he's not charged with homicide currently, but this other second suspect, he was not spotted until a couple of days later. Uh, they've chased him around quite a bit in McDonald County uh, near W and 76 this last week. And then earlier this week, uh, near Hart in Newton County and Northeast McDonald County. And then I think it was two nights ago, uh, Burleson was spotted in a white vehicle and ran across uh, the Missouri state line after trying to evade Wyandotte, Oklahoma marshals. Uh, he did manage to evade them that morning in the middle of the night, but then about 10 o'clock the next morning, they started that uh, search up again. Uh, we'll update more information on our news tab, but right now if you tap your screen, click those two links there, that'll give you as much information as we have currently, but we can tell you he's in custody. No one was injured. Uh, unknown if he had any weapons, U.S. Marshals took him into custody kind of on the edge of these woods here uh, near Jute Road, we were told. This is live and breaking news in Newton County, a Jasper County homicide suspect. The stabbing on March 2nd is now in custody. He'll be transported to the Jasper County Jail, I believe by U.S. Marshals. Got a lot of agencies out here. Uh, Missouri State Highway Patrol. McDonald County Sheriff's Office. Uh, U.S. Marshals, Seneca Police Department. Newton County, Jasper County. And here's this pickup that was spotted after being stolen from Southwest City early this morning. It was spotted in McDonald County. I was told roughly kind of where this pursuit uh, kind of traveled from. It kind of traveled from Southwest City. Uh, then they maybe noticed him probably around the Knoll area down to Longview and Stella and not sure what road took across to the west as he tried to get closer to Oklahoma. I believe uh, the suspect most recent address we were known is Wyandotte, uh, which is actually not very far from here. So these would be familiar woods to him. Yeah. Yeah. If anybody has any questions that can be answered in the feed there, I'll let y'all do that. Once again, this has ended on private property here. Uh, this lane. If you take Kentucky Road all the way west, past Bethel, dead end to the state line. Live and breaking, there's only one place you'll find it. it's right here. KOA News Now, John Lewis first. But we were there when the murder happened on State Line Road, March 2nd. And then we've been there every step of the way for you, also keeping you updated, uh, making sure you and your family are safe and mine as well, right? Thanks for sharing our stories, if you could, for me. I appreciate it, okay? Let others know there's only one source for live local news. And Joplin in the four states is right here.